Now let's see what is a budget line. A budget line or a price line shows all combinations of two goods which the consumer can buy spending his income on the two goods at a given price. A budget line is nothing but a line which sets a budget for you. It tells you that you cannot exceed this budget. How will you spend your budget? By spending it on two goods, goods X and goods Y. So when you are spending on these two goods, you spend so that your satisfaction level from the two goods is maximum. So to maximize your satisfaction level, what you will do is you will spend more and more on them. You will consume more and more of those goods. And when you consume more and more, you tend to spend more and more. But what happens is you have a limitation. You have a limited income. You have a limited budget. So this budget line represents that limitation. It represents the maximum level of income that you can spend on the combination of two goods. So on this budget line, you can take any combination of the two goods, any combination. But it is important to be on the budget line or within the budget line like the point K here. You cannot exceed or go beyond the budget line like the point H here because you do not have that much income to spend. It is beyond your reach. So you cannot consume a combination of goods X and Y which is higher than the budget line, which is above the budget line or which is beyond the budget line. So the consumer should always try to be on the budget line because being on the budget line will maximize his satisfaction level rather than being inside the budget line. Now let's see what happens to the budget line when the income increases. Now when the income increases, the budget line tends to shift outwards. This is our original budget line. This represents this represents the income that we get. We can spend only that much income that we earn. So budget line is a limitation of income. But what will happen if the income increases? Can't you spend more? Yes, you can spend more because your income is more now. So what happens? The budget line tends to shift outward or it tends to shift rightward. And as a result, you get a new budget line, which is higher than the original budget line because with this budget line you can consume or you can spend on more units of the goods x and y what do you think will be the case if the price of x increases now please bear in mind that your income is not increasing what is increasing is the price of good X. This is the original budget line which is in the red ink. Now what is happening is the price of X is increasing. Now when the price of a product increases, will you be able to purchase the same quantity of that good? No, you can't purchase the same quantity of that good in the same budget. Obviously, the amount of 
the good x obviously the amount of good x that is purchased reduces or decreases and what happens is that the budget line tends to slope inwards you get a new budget line which is sloping inwards however it is starting from the same point on the y axis because the price of y has remained the same so you can still buy the same quantity of good y but the price of x has increased so now you have to reduce your consumption of x and this will give you a new budget line which is shown in the green ink and this new budget line is sloping inwards it starts from the same point on the y axis and it goes on sloping inwards till it reaches the x axis